Hi kindergarten first and second grade leaders. We're preparing for October 8th and as we um, go through the month of October we're working with kids to help them understand what stewardship is and um, ultimately maybe what generosity means in the middle of stewardship. Um, today we're going to focus on using our time wisely. I don't know about you but it's something I struggle with every single day and I'm making sure that I have time for the right things in my schedule. So um, realize as we're teaching kids this, maybe we all need to take a few minutes and make sure that um, we are understanding that for our world and our families as well. Um, it, through this though, um, what we want kids to really understand is maybe the concept of time, especially with kindergarten and first graders, possibly second graders too. I think time is a very abstract thing for them and so when our activities today kind of help them understand time a little bit better or find ways to um, do some fun things in the middle of a short amount of time. Um, so realize that's that's kind of the focus with the little ones today as they get bigger then we'll look at how they use their time and did they do things um, to to bring honor to God in their time, but I think at this age, they're probably all just trying to figure out what is time because probably not very many of them can read clocks or watches and um, a minute seems like hours and so just realize that that's where the kids are right now. You have a few activities in your activity basket. Your um, opening activity is a, a game called Hula Hoop Squeeze. You'll have a hula hoop, and what you're supposed to do is put that in the middle of the floor in your small group area, and then you're supposed to call out either a letter or a, a color or something, and kids are supposed to jump in the hula hoop to answer the question, um, what did God make? That starts with either the letter or the color or um, whatever it is. Um, realize that your group may need, may not know their letters real well, so they may not know the letters of things that start with things. Um, second graders, I think you should challenge them. I think you should give them the challenge of figuring out maybe even some blend words like ch or f or um, different things like that. What are some things that start with that? Because it would be fun. Uh, follow the instructions on your instruction sheet. Have fun with that activity. And then we'll move to large group and our worship time. After large group and worship time are over, you're going to come back to your to your um, baskets. And um, likely in all baskets, I don't know across all campuses, but for Parkway Victoria in particular, um, you'll already have your spinners pre-assembled. You can thank our pre Per curriculum prep team for helping make that happen for you guys. Um, we realize that time is of the essence when you're in small groups, so we want to make sure that you have enough time to do the actual activity instead of trying to get little fingers to do all the little activities. So everything will be cut up and assembled together. Uh, it should look like this. Right now mine is not glued together because I didn't follow the instructions very well, but um, yours, yours should be all assembled and ready to go. What, um, you, what the activity recommends you do is to read the verse that is on the number side of your card, and it says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. And then what you're supposed to do is have the kids use the spinner on the activity side. Mine doesn't spin right now because, again, I didn't follow the instructions. But we'll have those spin for you when it's time for you to do your activity. So you're going to spin this and let it end on an activity. And then what you're going to do is flip it over. And then kids can spin to see how much time they'll do that activity. What you may want to do to start out with is do it with one of the cards and then when you're done um, you can give a card to everybody because then they can go home and practice this with their family. Okay? So that's your activity for the day. Then your memory verse activity is called Big Voice Little Voice because our memory verse this month is whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And so with the little stuff, you're supposed to use your little bitty voice. And with the big stuff, you're supposed to use your great big giant voice. 
And then there's also some different activities that you can call out and they can show you what big and little means when they do those activities. Your pray and dismiss activity is another one to try to help kids understand what five, what time looks like. So it's called a five second prayer. And what they're supposed to do is in five seconds, and if you wanna time them, you can time them. In five seconds, they're supposed to answer these questions. Lord, help us to use our time wisely at school this week by one, 1,002, 1, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,000, and then they have to have an answer, okay? Um, make it fun, help kids understand what time looks like on their um, time circles. There's no activity that you're going to do that takes longer than six minutes. And so it may be fun to see what takes um, the most time and what takes the, the shortest amount of time. Have a great week and thank you for investing in kids. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.